this filming light is really bright on my eyes. Okay. Not a video I really planned on making, but I felt like I just needed to. And I know you're thinking by the title, you're like, what? What are you burnt out from? There's so many things that go on behind the scenes in everyday life, like we all do, that you don't see. And I wanted to talk a little bit about some things so I could be hopefully an advocate for you. So if you ever go through something like this, then you know that you need to advocate for yourself. And that's something that we're gonna talk about today. As you probably saw in the title, I personally have a health condition that we don't talk about, we don't address, and you most likely would never know. I am the world's best. <laughs> Not the world's best, but <laughs> to go for dramatic effect, fake it till you make it. I am naturally, as you guys have watched hundreds of videos, if you have been following along, a happy person, a positive person, a smiley person. Uh, that's just my personality. But on the back side, I feel like I have this like secret side <laughs> that not a lot of people know about. And, and honestly, the only people that really, really, really see it are my really close family. And that's just like Jason, Kelsey, Michaela. So you're about to learn what I have and then you're gonna know. And then, I'm, and I am gonna explain why we're talking about all this. So hang on, stay with me here. I'm not trying to draw this out. This is one of those stories that if you skip parts, then it's not gonna make any sense. I worked at a hospital as a nurse. And the entire time that I worked at hospitals, I always had some kind of weird illness, a rash, multiple places, flu, of course I had you know what? I had a weird things where I like passed out and we had to go to the emergency room and all this just weird, crazy stuff with my heart. And th that isn't through those years of nursing. None of that was new since I was a little girl. I have gotten sick often. And when we were younger, we didn't have, Oh, I'm doing the hands. Sorry. When we were younger, we didn't have um, health insurance back then so we didn't get to go to the doctor so you you learned my dogs are barking I'm getting emotional because it triggers something in my brain when I say you learn to live with it because you do when you're ill often you just learn to live with it because you have to go about your daily life. You have family, you have work, you have everything that goes along with that. And you have to keep going. I've also been really big on like mind over matter and that has helped me tremendously. Let's start off with what I have and then it'll make a lot more sense of just kind of what I deal with and what's coming for me in the near future and how I'm going to handle all this while taking care of Jason and continuing to make videos and all the things that come in life. Last May, once again, I had something that had really been bugging me and I felt ignored at my doctor's office. And I'm a nurse. And so for those who aren't in the healthcare profession, I can't imagine what you feel like when you're ignored and you feel like people push your things off and maybe you don't even realize it or know even how to handle it. So I was a little sneaky and I had received a letter that my um, nurse practitioner that I always saw was going to be out of the office and I love her. And unfortunately, I had formed a like a bond with her and it, it just felt every time I would go, she would be just like, oh, you just have this. And I just felt very dismissed. And, you know, once again, you just suck it up and you live with it. So when I got this letter, this is such a long story, I'm sorry. But when I got this letter, I decided, oh, she's not in the office. I, I'm going to go see somebody else in the office while she's gone and see if somebody else has any other ideas and will listen to me. So I went in 
I saw her, another nurse practitioner, and um, I was explaining to her, silly as it sounds, like the joints in my hands hurt so bad. Well, she was like, well, why don't we send you to a rheumatologist? And I'm like, okay, all right. Somebody's gonna send me to something else. Yay. So I'm like, okay. So that was in May. Um, I got an appointment and it didn't take me very long to get into the, to the rheumatologist. So told her what all had been going on. And I even branched out and told her like all about my rashes and just, I kind of just laid it at this lady's feet who She's probably like, lady, this doesn't have anything to do with me. But she, she was a godsend. So she tested a few things and I go back in for my follow-up and she says, do you get sick often? And I'm like, I just kind of started laughing <laughs> and I'm like, you have no idea. And I was like, I'm sick basically like every day. Like every night, I feel so ill at nighttime. I run fevers, uh, and I just went into the whole gamut of everything. And she was like, so, okay, good news is you don't have arthritis. The bad news is a random blood test that's testing for something else left us a note, and it said that you had visibly decreased IgM. And she's like, you need to go see an immunologist. And I'm like, okay. So I'm lacking in IgM. IgM is your first line of defense for illness. So anytime I encounter a virus, a bacteria, anything, I don't have anything to block it. Hence why I get ill really easily. So I go see the immunologist <coughs> so I go see the immunologist and tell her everything. I bring everything from the past, like 20 years ago. I'm bringing like some CAT scans I had. I'm bringing like old blood work. I'm showing her pictures of rashes. I mean, we, I was there forever and she listened and we went through everything. We did some more testing. We did some more testing. Then I got sent to a hematology oncology and did more testing. And so I don't have cancer. So I have a primary immune deficiency and it took us, what took us so long the last eight months to figure out is was this immune deficiency being caused by something in my body or was I born this way? I was born this way. <laughs> we, got it all narrowed down to where it is primary. And I am now, please, if you pray, say a prayer. My insurance, we've obviously starting the process to get um, immune therapy, it's IVIG. There's a whole, I'm not gonna go all into everything cause I know y'all, you'll start to glaze over. But, um, Yes, I do have low IgG and IgM is my main one, but your IgG is second after your IgM. And I know I'm not even going to, everyone, when I try and explain it, it's like, what? <laughs> but so in the meantime, I prophylactically take an antibiotic every day. Um, so right now, um, my, I have chronic sinus infections and if you like, you should see the CAT scan of my sinuses. They're terrible. They look diseased. Um, my CAT scans of my body inside shows tons of uh, old infections in lymph nodes and my lung, my hilum, my spleen, uh, areas that just are full of granulomas from just fighting those infections, but I weren't able to ever get rid of them and they were just like attacking them and it, so it tried. So I also have super low lymphocytes. So when you go and you have your normal blood drawn, it'll show you like your lymphocytes, your neutrophils, your cinephil, all that. Um, so your lymphocytes are part of your white blood cells and um, definitely a line of defense for infection and mine are so low. And so I don't have any to fight. So on top of not having the IgM, I don't have the lymphocytes either. 
And I mean, I have some, but they're really. And so I'm just like, I want to be sick. So when I did get certain illnesses, it's very exaggerated for me, like something to you. So when you, here, when you see those things that are talking about immunocompromised, there are a whole group of people like me who that doesn't, like, I'm not like an HIV patient. I am I, I am an immunocompromised, but in this way. I was actually not, I didn't acquire it. I was born with it. I know that, so you, you guys are so sweet. You'll be like, just take a break. We'll be here when you get back. I wish YouTube knew that. <laughs> so uh, YouTube burnout is an actual thing, like a massively actual thing. Goodness, crying is not helping my nose situation. Anyway, you fall into this game of trying to figure out what the YouTube algorithm wants from you. And so it's just every week is a constant grind of trying to put out content that you guys will enjoy. I don't know who's going to enjoy this, but we're just being transparent. And basically, I really, really wanted to make this not even, not, not about me. I wanted to make this about you guys, that if even one person is out there watching this that knows that something isn't right, that something is wrong with you and you feel dismissed and you feel like you're not heard, I want you to push back. And I don't even care. Don't care if you look like you feel like, oh, like, oh they're going to think I'm a hypochondriac or those kind, but if you in your heart know that something's wrong with you and you're not right and you feel ill and people aren't listening to you, I want you to push back. That is why in Jason's case with his dementia, I have pushed back and pushed back because I don't want anyone else to ever feel the way that I felt. And I'm going to start you know, I can feel myself wanting to push back in just an everyday life where if someone says, oh, well, you don't seem sick. Well, actually, I am. I'm sick every day. And I'm not going to let it be dismissed anymore. Do I want like, oh, I hope you feel better. No, I don't. But I need to be seen and I need to be heard. And I need it to be understood that... It's okay to not feel well and you don't always have to put a smile on your face and you don't always have to be super positive. My big thing for me is, and I know a lot of you don't believe this way, but for me, I have Jesus in my life, so I'm not worried about it. He has taken such fantastic care of me and he will continue to do so. My main thing is for you out there, just just push back. When you know something's wrong, do not let that medical community that I am a part of as a nurse, do not let them dismiss you. It's it's wrong. And so that's my soapbox. So anyway, I know in the comments you're going to say like we were talking about, like, take your time. We'll be here. I am going to take more time for myself. Um, but I also, I am. I love being creative. I love doing this kind of stuff. It's just a really great outlet because think about this. <laughs> when you're ill yourself and you're the caregiver of someone who is ill, do you want to just live in that world all the time? No. So it's so fun to do DIYs, give you guys home tips, you know, all that kind of stuff. <coughs> so yes, I will continue to make videos and I hope you guys will continue to watch even if there's weeks that I skip here and there. We're just going to show that algorithm that it doesn't matter if I skipped a week because you guys will still be there. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> okay, so I hope I got to tell everything I wanted to. Now, I don't even remember what all I said, but I have an update with Jason coming that's coming very soon and um, within the next couple weeks. And 
it's good news and it's bad news. It's, I, I don't know how to feel about it. I'm going to wait and talk about it with him. It's something that I'm very excited about, but also not. <coughs> so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I will tell you, I hope you're on Instagram. And I do put the things that are on Instagram over onto Facebook, but they are made for Instagram. I'm having a blast over there. It's so easy and fun to put short form content on there and like make reels with, you know, five things to declutter in your kitchen right now or things like that. It's so fun to put those on instead of doing this long form content always and always. So if you are into short form and you want to, you know, keep up with us behind the scenes and that kind of thing, come on over there. It's just so much easier. I hope you guys will like this video. <laughs> it's been interesting. It was tough to film, but we will see you guys next time.